Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial on this hair look that I've got right now. This hair look, I guess you could call it messy, don't care hair, but it looks like you did it hair, I guess. So if you guys want to know how I got this hair look, super easy, super simple, then let's just jump right into it. Okay, so last night I washed my hair and then I applied this small talk by Bedhead. I have loved this product okay it's a thickifier adds body and volume energizer gives life to limp hair stylizer defines separates and controls and blah blah blah, blah. it's a really nice product if you guys are wanting to thicken up your hair it's really helped my poor limp hair <laughs> Um, I've been using it for a few months. I got it at Ulta for $9.99. It was on sale. I'm not sure how much it is originally, but I'll link it down below if you guys want to go check that out. I've loved this stuff, especially right before you blow dry your hair. I flip my head upside down and then I blow dry so my hair can get a lot more volume in it because I feel like my hair doesn't have much volume or at least not as much volume as I wish it did. My hair is very fine. It's really thin, but it's fine. I don't like saying the word thin because I feel like that's like stringy and gross, but that's what is happening with my hair. Moving on, and then I just go to bed. Then I wake up in the morning and my hair is a little bit more dirty, which is a lot easier for me to curl my hair when my hair is a little bit more dirty, but it still has a lot of volume in it. So I find that blow drying my hair before bed and applying that product has really helped me when I end up curling my hair. So moving on. Next, what I try and do is I try and spray my hair with dry shampoo. This is just like a dry shampoo from Dove. It doesn't smell that good, but I'm just trying to get rid of it. It's almost gone, but I usually, I already applied it. I usually start and just do like my roots. I don't do too much on my roots, but I like where my part is. I try and just like, I'll get my fingers and just spray it in through there and then do the other side and spray it in through there. And then I usually go through and just kind of rub it in with my fingers and then after that I don't want to damage my hair so I go in with this Garnier Fructis I haven't applied this yet but I go in and I just spray my hair just so my ends don't get as damaged and recently I cut seven inches off my hair but I swear it's like already growing back my hair was to like to here and now it's so short to me so I normally, what I used to do is I used to separate into a million sections, but this time I'm just going to do two sections. So I kind of just separate the top part of my hair. And I just grab a hair elastic. And then I put it in like a little upside down bun, or you can use like a clip or bobby pins. It doesn't need to be hair elastic. And then I cut my hair down the middle separate it down the middle and then I go through and comb it with my favorite brush in the world this is one of the wet combs oh it says right here wet brush I love this it detangles my hair so easy so this whole look is just supposed to be really messy so you can go through honestly and you can miss as many pieces as you want I try and take thinner pieces and then I do thicker pieces last so I'm gonna go in and Flip it backwards with my straightener. And then I'm gonna leave the end out. Then I'm gonna go through and just go and do a whole bunch of pieces randomly. You can curl them all different directions. So I'm flipping this, these two back. Then I'm gonna go over here, grab this thicker piece, fold it forward, and leave it out, leave the end out. I'm gonna go through and grab some more pieces. Flip this one that way. And you know what? I'm gonna stop right there. I don't wanna curl the rest of that, so grab this, curl it forward. So easy, seriously. So easy, so easy. So feeling almost satisfied on this side seriously this is like one of my go-to looks and it's so easy I'm just gonna go underneath and I'm gonna grab this piece and just curl it a little bit okay so I feel satisfied on that side so I'm gonna grab my comb now 
I know it doesn't seem like I curled very much but that's the whole point in this look you only want to curl a few pieces so I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna wrap wrap it like crazy and then kind of comb it over just a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with some hairspray This is the Herbal Essence of Volumizing Hairspray. It smells delicious, but I wouldn't really, I'm not like dying over it. So now I'm gonna do the other side. Put this little guy over. And I'm just gonna go through and curl random pieces. I don't know if I'm explaining this right. I'm just gonna, honestly, you just grab random pieces. That's like the whole goal. And I try and leave my ends out. I'm gonna curl this one forward. Gonna grab a big piece. Gonna curl this one under. We got one. I already got that piece. I already got that piece. So I'm gonna kind of just go through it with my fingers. And then I'm gonna go through and wrap like I did before. So simple. It's supposed to look messy. It's not supposed to look like curly curly. It's supposed to just look messy. Go through in with my hairspray. I like adding the hairspray right after I've curled right there because then I know where my other layer just kind of like ended so I can kind of feel that it's a little bit crunchy. So now I'm gonna pull this other layer down and I'm gonna do my top layer very last so if you guys understood what I did I am now gonna hurry and fast forward this part and hurry and get this next section done and I'll be back in just a second with the top part okay so now that I have finished that section I'm gonna bring this down and my hair is already parted down the middle which is good I'm gonna go through and brush out this little section just so that it's not all crazy this seriously is one of the most simple hairdos ever I'm gonna do the exact same thing pretty much with my top section except what I like to do is I like to bring the hairs closer to my root and I like to and I like to grab smaller sections. Sorry, I totally stuttered. So I'm going to flip this one backwards. And I try and grab smaller sections. And I skip a few and I don't curl every single piece. I don't know, I might end up curling. So I'm going to grab a smaller section for this one. Then I'm going to curl this one forward. Some people don't understand how to curl with a straightener. I hope you guys understand how I'm doing it and can kind of get the hang of doing this. I honestly, I've been curling my hair with a straightener for so long, so it's like second nature to me. So I'm gonna curl this one forward too. It's random. I don't do every other, I just like honestly do whatever I'm feeling. And if I miss the ends, like it's totally good. Like. The messy, the better. So now I'm gonna do these two ones that are near the front. I'm gonna do them backwards. Seriously though, if you guys have never tried that bed head stuff and you're struggling with having thick hair, I mean, thin, if you're struggling with having thin hair and you guys want thicker hair, this stuff I really would recommend. Okay, so it obviously looks really, really curly. So I'm gonna go through and kind of just brush that out. You don't want it to look like it was meant to be super, super curly. And I'm gonna go through and rat it. And then grab that next section a little bit more and rat it a little bit again. I'm gonna go through and just get my flyaways. And then spray that side. Messy the better. So, as you can see, 
I did this side. I'm just gonna brush through it really lightly. Like that. I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna rat it. It's gonna be very fluffy. And you can do whatever you want. You can pull it forward. Or not. And then I'm gonna go and straighten the ends just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. It's really good. I'm gonna go in one more time with my hairspray. And I'm just gonna go and fluff the crap out of it. It looks a little frizzy. It's fine. It's supposed to look natural. That is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is such a cute little hairstyle. It's so easy to do, honestly, so easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you, bye.